Good morning, everyone. Tractor Man 44 here. You know, I've been retired about five or six years now or so, and you know, one of the silliest, uh, one of the silliest questions that uh, I consistently have to answer from uh, from people I talk to is, uh, what do you do now that you're retired? Don't you get bored, you know, sitting around all day long? Well, uh, like I said, been retired six years, and I can't recall a single day I've been bored yet. Uh, I have a tendency to get involved in some pretty fun things and some uh, pretty crazy things on occasion, but um, a lot of times I get an opportunity to just scrap out some stuff, you know. I've been doing that for 40 some years. You know, heck, I was I was living green when green wasn't cool, man. Uh, I used to work at a job when I first got out of the Marine Corps making $2 an hour uh, working at a local school district. And uh, heck, I'd go out to the farm at night and load up a truckload of junk. And then uh, at lunchtime over there, I'd run over to the local junkyard and throw all that stuff and stuff off and heck I'd be back you know within 30 minutes I'd be back and I'd get 12 13 14 dollars for a whole truckload of stuff well to me you know it is is big money you know because heck I work eight hours you know for 16 bucks and here I work a couple hours in the evening you know and then take you know my half hour lunch and and make 12 13 bucks you know like to me is a little no-brainer so uh, like I said I've been doing uh, I've been living green since uh, way before being green was cool at any rate, I got a little project. You know, I'm an old air conditioner man. You know, I don't do it anymore. Uh, well, some people say I don't do it any less, but I really do not do very much. Uh, the only time I do it is when I just can't get out of it. And uh, uh, there is a side benefit to it, and that side benefit is always having some stuff to, to salvage. And uh, never wanted to throw anything away without getting the, the best out of it. You know, I, I strip out the coils and all that kind of stuff, strip out the motors, compressors, and all that. I got a local place here that I take them to. And I was just going to show you today... Um, uh, you know, just a little bit of time in a, in a boring day uh, of a retiree. First thing I do is, is I strip all the uh, all the galvanized, all the gal drain pan, the plastic drain pan, and galvanized drain pans off, and then separate these coils into two halves. And the easiest way to do is just grab a saw saw. And cut that off. Throw that in the barrel. That'll come into play just a little bit later. We have to separate the tube sheets. Set these off to the side. That was pretty much ready to go. Here's the next one right here. Whack off all these little tubes. It's not simple in every case, but uh, most of the time it is. Again, I don't deal in anything that's considered brain surgery, so uh, you don't have to be real pleasant or pretty. You just have to save all the pieces. Like I said, this will all come into play in a little while because this is a different kind of a copper. These distributor tubes can be a pain in the butt, though. That's to uh, meter equal amounts of refrigerant to uh, equal portions of the coil. Set these off the side. We'll get back. Tractor Man 44, back again after a brief stint with a battery charger. Uh, doggone uh, phone let me down. But anyway, some of these tube sheets are a little difficult to separate. You look at this guy here, it's got that 90 degree angle that comes back on this side. So you're going to have to saw completely through that or saw the, the uh, return bins on a coil on the outside of the tube sheet and knock the tube sheet off with a hammer and a chisel or a hammer and a big screwdriver. I try to place my barrel there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Try to place the barrel to catch most of those little... Uh, return bins. I'll probably miss a third or, or a half of them, but it doesn't matter. I got a copper magnet that'll pick them up. Thank <laughs> you. 
again, that barrel is kind of a nice addition. Sometimes I, uh, I'll stretch out a little tarp and catch them all into a tarp and then uh, bundle the tall <laughs> tarp all up into a, uh, a circle and sort them all out. It's really not a bad deal at all. But at any rate, I've done hundreds and hundreds of these in the last 40 some odd years. Retiree just sitting around doing nothing. This Tractor Man 44. I am out of here. punch it out 30 thousandths over and and uh, I had to impress in the new cam bearings and install me a new uh, RV cam just a slight bump up give me a little low-end grunt don't care about high RPM or anything I just need that low-end grunt for pulling loads of logs and pulling them old tractors and stuff around you know so um, it's a little loud I got some uh, glass packs on it you know and and uh, three inch three inch uh, homemade exhaust with an H pipe across it you know kind of balance out the exhaust note uh, sounds pretty good of course it's a little deafening you know when I get my foot in the carburetor and uh, it being a 460 don't really want to do that too often unless I'm pulling something because man it sure hurts the pocketbook it don't uh, it, 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 it's not easy on the fuel I, I get about eight miles to gallon on a good day and on a bad day well, I get about eight miles to gallon so uh, that's about it this is definitely a a short trip truck. I don't take it much over, you know, 20, 25 miles from home. Don't need to, don't want to. But at any rate, we're going down the road here and it's finally warmed up a little bit so it'll mellow out a little and, and uh, it won't be too bad for a little bit. But uh, good Lord only knows what I'm going to get out of this load. Yesterday I took a whole bunch of electric motors, you know, condenser fans, indoor blower fans, uh, sheet metal scrap, you know, pieces of wire and all that kind of garbage. That didn't do too bad. I uh, got enough to take the wrinkles out of my belly, so to speak. Uh, had a couple hamburgers, got me a, a, uh, a hot tea, and had just about enough left over to give give the wife a couple of cents when I got home. So, but at any rate, I'm gonna try to do the same thing today. Hope I got enough for dinner and supper, but uh, that remains to be seen. Uh, I gotta shut it off. I've never done a video before while I'm driving. And uh, probably, truth be known, it's probably illegal. So, I don't know. I don't want to get put in jail because of the YouTube video. So, I'm going to shut this thing off, man. I will talk to you after I get out of junkyard. And hopefully the truck's filled up with cash. I'm on the way back to the bank. But I don't really think that's going to be the case. But anyway, guys, Tractor Van 44, we are out of here. For a little while, anyway. <laughs> 